Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome back to Miss Glow Glow Spiritual Motivation. I am back with another video on this blessed, beautiful Saturday morning. And I have some things I want to go over and explain what I'm going to be doing as far as the Bible study series on here. I got the regular books into it. Along with those books, I don't know what these little things is that they gave me. It's a Sunday. The Bible is good for you. So they gave me two of these little things. And then, of course, I have some two little stickers they gave me that I guess I could stick on the wall. Some that say the Bible is good for you and the best day of the week. So those came with along with the with the books these are the books the bible study books that i'm going to be doing the bible study lessons with on this channel from now on out i wanted to find some good bible study books and i found some um if you want to order these books i think they come from um i want to say tomorrow's world or something like that but these books is two of them they was like 49 dollars and they have they are loaded loaded with information as you can see i already started working in them so we're going to be going through these are the books we're going to be using to do the bible study lesson this book is called the bible study one year study of the bible and how it relates to you this is part one the old testament this one is the bible study the same thing in this part two the new testament so this Bible study is out of the New Testament, and the other one is out of the Old Testament. You know, because I had first I said we was going to be doing these pamphlets, but I will save these for another time. Like, maybe if I have somebody on as a guest, and we want to just go through some of the Bible story courses. Because remember, I still have lesson two, three, and four that I'm going to get in the mail, and then I'm going to just start doing those sporadically. But I want to do the Bible study out of this book. And they also gave me these uh, bookmarkers. And they say the Bible is good for you. The Bible is good for all of us. So we're going to jump right on ahead and get into this lesson. And then remember we're going to... Um, I wanted to start going live on Friday, but you know I'm just really, really just not a live person. But I'm going to figure out what we're going to do. Either way it goes, we're going to get the Bible study listening. To me, the important thing is putting, helping to spread and putting out the Word of God. It's not about going live. It ain't about me being seen. It's about me sharing and spreading the Word of God. That's what, that's my calling. That's what I want to do. If you guys hear me doing a lot of burping, excuse me, because I'm so full. I just did a dental mukbang video, and I am so full. I'm actually uploading that right now. On that video, I had did some made some homemade spaghetti, but I made it. I used whole wheat, 100% whole wheat spaghetti. I used some um, organic plant, yeah, plant-based meatballs that I found. I've never seen them before, but it was really good. That's what. I had her dinner and I wasn't really hungry, so I really didn't eat much of it. So I hope people don't turn away from uh, the video. But let's get into this book. We this, this this Bible study lesson starts out talking about the Torah, book one of five. Who know what the Torah is? Torah, T O R A H. Who know what the Torah is? Okay. If if I can ask you, um, what does Torah mean? Torah means instructions. And the Torahs, the first part of the Genesis is the first part to a five-part section of the Bible yeah. called the Pentateuch. The Greek, which is Greek for five books, okay? Torah means instruction. The Torah is the basis for all of Judaism 
and is many times considered to be the law in the New Testament. The law was their go-to guide for their life manual. Get out here. Then it, I'm just reading the introduction, okay, because this is a brand new book, and we got to understand and know what we are getting into with this book. The Hebrew words for God, for God that is used in verses 1 is Elohim. The plural version of Elohim, meaning that there, the heck is this net or something, meaning that there is more than one present. I got some fruits over here that I was eating. I supposed to be ate with my, uh, what you call, but I didn't because I got full, and that's probably where them fruit nets came from, but we're going to get rid of that. And then it says uh, the meaning that there is more than one presence. So God is already made of, of multiple parts in the first sentence. Multiple parts in the first sentence. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit were there before anything ever happened. We all know that the world began with God. In the big beginning was God, and in the beginning was love. God was love. God is love, okay? Then God began to speak things into existence, bringing order into chaos, speaking life. Okay, and then it say, tells us the author of Genesis and the Torah are the five books of the Bible as a whole were written by Moses. So we know that the five books of the Bible was written by Moses. And then, let me see. Let's talk about the key verse. The key verse says, I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever calls, curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. The key words in this first lesson is going to be the covenant, blessed, sin, and God said. And it says, Genesis is the starting point for all humanity. This book is required reading material for understanding the rest of the Bible. It introduces character and topics that depict our entire history. So, before we get into this lesson, who can tell me what are the five books in the Pentateuch? Pentateuch. Who can tell me what are my eyes bothering? Are the five books in the Pentateuch? There's just one person. We just beginning this lesson, so we're gonna get in it and get used to it. We have a question right here. It say, "What did God create slash do each day?" What did God create or do each day? The answer can be found in Genesis. Everything I'm finna ask you from in Genesis is coming out of the first book of Genesis, okay? Genesis chapter 1 is in that chapter. On day 1, what did God create? On day 2, what did God create? On day 3, what did God create? On day four, what did God create? Day five, day six, and day seven. What did God do on day seven? Why do you think God created all of this in the first place? Why do you think God created heaven and earth? Why? I think he created it because he was expressing his love to us and he wanted some... He needed someone, uh, a, he wanted a person that, that was as unique as him, that was as unique as him to, you know, to be capable of communicating with him, you know, to be his servant. Not so saying that he did it to be his slave, but to be his servant. God loved us. That's why he created.